Don't Kill Me is a new Netflix original. I think it's an original. And it's from Italy? Hi. Right? Sorry. Hi? Hi. <laughs> wow. Okay. I was just talking about that this morning. Yeah, she's, <laughs> she's taking her Japanese classes again. And now everything's <laughs> Japanese it's around here. Italian. What is? The movie. Yeah, the movie. Okay. I was like, hi, that's not true. That's not no. fucking Italian. You had me tripping out there for a second. I was like, it is? You're like, what? what? The fuck? No. <laughs> anyway, so this movie is about a young couple who take drugs, end up dying, and one of them, the girl, comes back from the dead. <laughs> And uh, needs to feed on human flesh so that her own body won't decompose. Um, and then there is a group of people who are out to stop people like her. Yeah. That's, that's a good synopsis. That's, that's about it. Um, okay. First thing I'll say about this movie is that it's very sexy. Like, it's really trying Sensual. to, yeah, it's really trying to hit on that kind of erotic feel, mm -hmm. you it know. Does it well, too? Sure, there's... the girl's sexy, the guy is attractive enough, like, mm -hmm. there's, it's, yeah, it, it it's successful enough there. This is a film I feel like I've seen a lot over the years, um, and this one's, it's fine. I was kind of just like, eh, like at the end, yeah. I was just kind of blah on it. Um, yeah. I liked the way that it looked. Mm -hmm. I liked the way it was shot. I mm -hmm. liked th I, the music was definitely different. For, I liked the sound. Yeah, yeah, for the for this kind of movie, uh -huh. it, it felt more like nightclub. Yeah, but it was kind cool. of music. That was part of the kind of like sensual part. There's definitely mm -hmm. like one song that's really weird. Not supposed to be sexy, but like the other musical choices were, and I really liked that as well. Um, but we like we talked about they set up a lot of things that didn't really get followed through with or explained to the extent that I think we would have liked them to be. Um, so it sort of jumped all over the place with a couple different plot points that made it feel a bit messy when you're watching it. So yeah, this film. <sighs> fine i feel like i don't know it's fine i think when you weigh everything against mm -hmm. itself like i liked sir i like i liked the way it looked i liked the music i liked the girl and i liked the sexy stuff and stuff like that so like that stuff was was good and and as far as like the gore and the horror goes and eh, gore really? is not really a lot yeah. the horror is there for sure but it's not like front and center by any means no. um this is definitely more drama romance, romance yeah. thriller ish with some horror flavor to it um that being said the film's biggest issue for me by far is that it seems to lack cohesion mm -hmm. and direction on where we're going with this it okay i say it this way the film has two big of ideas to try to condense into the story that they told. And they tried to do too much in such a short amount of time. There's this group of people who are hunting her. We know fucking almost little to nothing about them. And I could ask 20 questions alone on that group and with what we saw in the film and how they operate and what their point is and where they're from and with it. Like, and do I need all those questions answered all the time and stuff like this? No, I can definitely leave some things like whatever. They're 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 this, they're that. That's fine. But they just lacked like believability to me. I didn't understand their inclusion. Like I felt like this film could have done without them altogether. Mm. And then there's something that happens, it's kind of like a reveal. I wouldn't say a twist, but a reveal that didn't make a lot of sense to me and it begged a lot of questions from the beginning of the movie a, a lot of which i asked her like well why then did this happen why would they do this if they were gonna do this yeah. you know it's just it was too many of those where then another person comes into the movie and you're wondering how did this person find this person like how does this person even know that <laughs> this person she? is around yeah. and then 
you know. And then it, you've always got to accept in these kind of like Dexter-esque things where people are hunting bad people. You've always got to accept like, okay, they're just going to find an abundance of bad people that are always in their vicinity and they're going to, you know, happen upon them while they're in the midst of doing something god-awful. Sure. You just have to accept that that happens. Because like, I've, I've been around and I have went to clubs and bars and fucking seedy areas and I grew up in shitty places. And honestly, like the amount of times I've seen people that outright are doing something that would make me be like, that person should die. Like, I I know for sure this person's horrible. He's beating the (laughs) shit out of this girl in public. He's raping a kid. He's whatever. I've seen that maybe twice in my life. Mm. In my life. In these movies, they make it seem like it's in every, like, hour occurrence on every corner. In every alley. Somebody's getting raped. Somebody's getting tortured. Somebody's whatever. Molested. Sure. Well, and it's also when there's like any kind of supernatural element in a film like that where there is a, you know, a drive to find bad people. You can obviously fill in the the blank of like maybe there's a supernatural means that's helping them. Every alleyway but. in these movies is filled with people <laughs> raping people. It's just Every so ridiculous. <laughs> what are the cops doing in this town? Nothing. That's but that's. Right. That's okay. that thing you accept yeah. in movies like this. It's like, okay, there's a bad guy and he's doing bad things and I want him to die or her to die, whatever. <laughs> I'm fine with that. that. That's more not a knock. That's just me making fun of movies and what they always do. And we mm. just, as the audience, have to accept it. Plus, I'm trying to point out that I am fully capable and am usually always the person that can accept movie logic. Oh, yeah. So when I say I have questions... I don't have bullshit questions like my clients at work ask me about movies. They're like, well, how about this? I'm like, oh, come on. That's just movie logic. Don't think about that kind of shit. I am fully aware of like what, what like the parameters of reality is within film. I don't care when things are convenient as long as they're not blatantly convenient. Yeah. Like it's like, okay, yeah, they're going to cross paths. That's fine. That's I don't care. That's the whole care. point of the movie. Right. So that's fine. I don't care. But when it's just question after question after question that just doesn't add up to what I'm being told and doesn't pass the test of movie logic, then I'm irritated. Mm-hmm. Then I'm checked out of the film. Then I'm then I'm thinking more about those questions than focusing on the next scene. Yeah. And that's distracting. Absolutely. Because then I'm like. What happened there? Yeah. And, and then you go and the next scene's it. happening and you're like kind of talking about it. You're like, oh, what, what happened in that scene? Fuck, I yeah. missed it because I'm talking about the last scene that didn't make any fucking sense. And it's it's those scenes that you go, this isn't going to ever make sense, right? The way they set it up, I know I'm not getting an explanation. Yeah. <laughs> and it's frustrating to me. It is frustrating. That's definitely the downside of this film because if, you know, they had cleaned up, I think... Like I said, those plot points and streamlined it a bit more, it would have made it, you know, a little bit more entertaining. But yeah, the questions definitely hinder it, and they're not, like you said, bullshit questions. They're ones that are pretty important if you're trying to follow the logic that they set up in the film itself. I oh yeah, and then there's this like secondary romance that's in this mm. that I didn't get at all. I didn't see any precedence for it in the film and was completely confused. And then there's another scene where she walks in on her dad with somebody else. And that scene was like, what? Okay, that's fine that that's happening. But how does it really service the story? Mm -hmm. Like, what does that add? You're, You're already throwing too much at me. You're, you're, you're introducing me to the over dead right Mm -hmm. which is its whole thing which they're fucking zombies but they're you know they're different enough from like the romero-esque kind of zombies that they're sentient and and Mm -hmm. totally self-aware and are normal people that decompose if they don't consume which i definitely seen um multiple times uh throughout watching these kinds of movies but you're introducing that. You're introducing some other character who's coming in to tell her that. You're introducing this romance thing that ends up having 
some bigger impact in the end that doesn't really make a lot of sense you're introducing this like kind of following that that that's out to get them Mm -hmm. and then they're trying to kind of maybe recruit somebody but it doesn't really make any like i I, this is what i'm talking (laughs) this is where i have too many fucking questions in this film that i was so distracted and you could write this all off right i feel like a film like this has that has that kind of bullshit out that cop out of well it's just artistic but it, it was artistic, but it also wasn't, though. There was definitely, like, it wasn't so surreal and, like, you know, <laughs> like, it wasn't that far out. There were definitely, there was definitely a reality that they were grounded to, that they were trying to work within. Yes, there that were. That wasn't all symbolism and metaphor. They half ass explained things. Yeah. That's their issue. Either go all in or not. Like, if you're gonna explain things explain things enough that the audience has a complete grasp and can fill in the rest of the blanks on their own. But if you're, if you wanted to be the artistic, you want to be something like Titan or raw or anything, then it's just kind of like, you don't really fill in almost anything. You sure. give little hints and then the audience goes, you know what I think's happening here? And that's fine. But with this one, it was kind of like, well, here's what's, kind of happening and then you're like wait wait hold on I'm glad I have if you it. yeah if you said that wait where are we? you know so you got to either explain it all or don't explain it at all <laughs> like that's it that's that's your two options to me when it comes to these kinds of movies so the artistic thing if you're going to be artistic and you're not going to explain yourself then give me less give me less, less than yeah. this because then I wouldn't be plagued by the questions because it's the sh- it's the half ass answers that I've given mm, that, make that give me more questions yeah. that I would not have had had you not given me half ass explanations. Sure. And I feel like the whole like the the I already said the you know the group that's hunting them. I feel like they could be completely excised from the film altogether, or this film needs an extra twenty minutes at least. To flesh out them, to flesh out the other girl that comes into the movie, to flesh mm. out the ending, to flesh out, like... Yeah. And then to flesh out that secondary romance. Oh, gosh. I mean, that's... Yeah. Right? And it. then the mom? Where the fuck did she go? She was just like... She's, like, <laughs> there, and then she's just, like, gone. So and fast. I'm like, is mom coming back, or... <laughs> You're like, where, where'd she go? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was weird. That was all. It was all over the place with that kind of thing, you know, where you're jumping from kind of character to character and subplot to subplot. Yeah. So it was very distracting, as you said. Yeah. And yeah, I'm going to say like. Yeah, no, for sure. I'm not a recommendation for, uh, for me. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you want to see some hot chick, take her clothes off. She got, does take her clothes off. You got that. <laughs> I don't know. My outside of that, I don't really have much else to say about the film. Yeah, me either. So I'm done. Bye. Bye. <laughs>